Hi, today we're going to hijack a session and the general idea is that if you have a session manager of some sort to generate a complex and random token for your session sent to the client side, it will be good enough. However, if you do not have that and you can guess the session, which is what this is all about, we need to brute force it, go to the second part here, we can see, we need to predict the cookie called hijack cookie. So what we're going to do now is press F12, zoom in, and press access, and you will see <clears throat> we get this token here down below. Now we can of course record, as I also did it before because I was recording a video, but was interrupted. Um, <clears throat> we can of course record a video, sorry, the different tokens, and this is somewhat what the code does in the back end. So how are these numbers generated? Now we can record a lot of numbers and compare them and do a lot of manual work. It would work, it's just slow. So there's an automated tool to help us with that in Burst, which is free, it's called Sequencer. So what we're gonna do is <clears throat> go in the HTTP and the proxy tab, HTTP history, and find where the cookie is set. This is the one you can see, it says hijack cookie. It sets the cookie, so send that part to the sequencer, bam, like that. And that goes to the sequencer, let me just remove the other one. And make sure that you selected the cookie called hijacked cookie. What we're gonna do now is just press start live capture, and you will capture a lot of tokens. Let me just stop, that's more than enough, 600 tokens. Save the tokens to your computer, tokens. Go to the browser, sorry, the terminal, and do a sort of token. And then you're gonna get all the tokens stored in the memory. Now, what you're gonna look for is anomalies. Okay, so you will see this number here up to there is the same every time 83. At some point in the top, it might change to 82, which tells me that the two last digits here is incrementing the third digit to three. Um, whenever it hits 99 and now we see this is funny because it says 90, 2, 3, 4, 6. So it tells me that whenever something is the number is jumping more than one, it might be because the session already exists. So we got to probably look at this one here down below. This is 83 to 85. And all the way down here, we say like up to 8, 73, and 85. We can work with that because I can say 84 is one before. Yes, 85, so we're gonna pick this one here. And what we're gonna go, go ahead and do now is find the login request. So we're gonna go back to proxy, and this can be a bit irritating to find. Um, let me just see, where do I have it? There we have it, so sent to intruder. And you can see that this is a normal post login request. We have no token to it. So I would probably need to find one with a token on. Can I find the login request somewhere? Let me just clear all this history. Let's get a new one. It's easier that way. Just press login. And you can find the login there and take this Hijack cookie is with us now, so let's take the Century Intruder. And now you can see the cookie is right there. So let's paste in the number that I just called pasted, and it will be 84, right? So I'm gonna go back in. 84, and the two last numbers from 73 to 85 is gonna be the one we need to uh, repeat. <clears throat> so the last two digits here, we're gonna add that as a variable, so it's gonna be surrounded by two special characters. Go to payloads now and pick the numbers array from 73 to 85. And if we log in, in step one, we'll get a hit. So let's start the attack. It will repeat that token several times. And we're gonna press the first one here and press response and solution not correct. Go down. And it doesn't seem like we have the any uh, successful token. As we can see, the solution is not correct. Please try again. It wasn't what we were hoping for, so we will go back one more time. And we can still use this one here, you know, this particular uh, hijack session. 
And we can just pick another one that's worth trying. So let's do this one right here. 75 to 77, so we can do 76. Let me just copy paste this correctly. Copy paste, 76. So we're gonna try our way out. So we'll say 76 and the two last digits. Uh, 28 to 40 would be, so payloads. To 40, I think that is correct, isn't it? Would seem so. Let's start the attack one more time and see what happens. So, let's take a response. Oops, bad request. So, we get a bad request now. And let's just see what's the reason for that. Because we have no username and password there. Let me just try one more time. Put some stuff in. Payload, no. Same one more time. So we will go back, delete it, take the one to intruder, paste in our token one more time. It's going to be, let's take 61 right here. So just another one. There we go. Whoops. So 61. Mark the last two, and what did we get? 61, 62, 43 to 53, so we do 62, and go to payloads, say symbol list, numbers, 43 to 53, this step is one, one more time, I'm going to try and tag. And <clears throat> we will look for, congratulations, you have successfully completed the assignment. So all the other ones didn't fit, but the first one did. And we go back here, you see we got a green handle, which basically means that we solved the task. I don't know if we did, you know, something happened with we update. No, it just doesn't. So it was a bit trial and error, as you probably noticed. We need to try a few ones and... Uh, it is the way it is. It is the way, <laughs> as the Mandalorian will say. Um, so I, I definitely would say don't give up just because the first try didn't work. Sometimes, you know, this, the way the system handled is also that someone locked out. So what will the system respond if someone locked out? Would it say the same as this? Not correct. Is that the uh variable is going to give you back with a with a uh, not variable the, the the key value pair or is it the the one we saw here if it's correct you know so you need to verify the correct response in a way and you know read out the tone of course this is easy enough for me to say because i've been doing this for quite a while <clears throat> these kind of strings it may look random we have no idea what this is. I, I literally don't care if it's a timestamp or just an incremental number that is really big. I don't care. We can see a pattern. It's bad and we need to avoid it. So for this room, I really hope you learned something and definitely not everything is success. Sometimes you should try four times, three times, 50 times before you get success. But when you get that success, you will get the probably aha moment and if you get the aha moment you will learn a lot more compared to just if you do think for the first time and it works every time i know some people show videos on youtube where they just have the successful um attempt every time the first attempt i don't want to do that you know i want to show how it is for real so this is also how it is for real this is just me talking and explaining to you how things are so i really hope you enjoy that this is the way of my channel, it is the way. So until next time, I wanna say you have a really nice hacking experience. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Please also like and the video. It will help me a lot to spread out the good news about awareness and cybersecurity on the good unity in the world, also on YouTube. See you again.